Welcome back, everyone, to another segment of the MCR, Mac and me. My name is TJ. And in this segment, I'm compelled to mention a, a figure. And I would be shocked if if not everyone knew who this guy was, thanks to thanks to Oprah Winfrey. The guy, you know, most most Americans know is Dr. Phil. OK, I guess his full name is Dr. Philip McGraw. And he does have a doctoral de- degree in clinical psychology. OK, uh, but Dr. Phil, he's been making the rounds lately. Uh, I mean, he's always been around and I guess he has some ups and downs in his uh, programming and, and, and shows and whatnot. But uh, recently he he uh, he did an interview with Bill O'Reilly and uh, and, and a couple others. And he, the guy does not come out and say he's a conservative, but he's sounding a little like one. And he now he claims he's not right or left. But we, we've said in the past in our videos that if you're not full left, yeah, if, if you're if you're not into if you're not with us, then you are completely against us. Yeah. So I went back to the video we did on Ronna Romney McDaniel. Uh, mm-hmm. They weren't going to accept her no matter how much she stabbed you and I in the back. Now, I can tell you pretty with pretty good conviction, Dr. Phil is anti DEI, diversity, equity, inclusion. Right. Now, Dan Bongino calls it die, you know, diversity, in, uh, inclusion, equity. You know, I, I guess that's his way of mocking the DEI. As opposed yeah, an, to- an, another mock, and I think it's one that's aptly earned, is uh, didn't earn it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, Dr. Phil did have a, a woman on her show. I've seen it a couple times. I forget her name. And he had this woman on who she was... Uh, she she was an HR person, and if you know anything about HR, sometimes they can make you vomit. Okay, uh, so so he she, he had this uh, HR person who who uh, was all in on DEI, and then there then he had a black pastor uh, who was anti DEI. And, and he made he made a pretty good point, and I and I don't I'm not going to get his entire statement correct here because I didn't write it down, but uh, something to the effect of it's got to work everywhere. For if it can't work anywhere, I you know what? And I'm screwing it up. Other if it than, doesn't work everywhere, it isn't going to work anywhere. That's right. Thank you. And and he referenced the uh, he goes he mentioned the NBA. Uh, and football, he goes. Where's all the Hispanics in those sports? Hispanics and and or and Asian people. He goes. I he goes as as if to say, you know, a lot of times this whole DEI is intended for black ethnicity. When in fact, there's all sorts of minorities out there, you know. And and why don't you see Asians playing basketball here in the NBA? Uh, or he goes, and then he threw in. And why don't you see black guys playing hockey? And I guess there was one black hockey oh, player. No, there, there are several currently. No, it, it's more common because hockey is a rich kid's sport. And okay. economic, economically, I mean, just as many whites can't play it for the same reason. But that's why you don't see as many black players. Well, in, in any event, he was just using sports as a, as a simple example of, of why he wasn't DEI, okay, right. and in 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 watching all these clips and and listening to Doctor Phil, I thought I thought this guy is not liberal. And while well, he is, I'd say it's not so much that he's common sense, although I think you could equate the two, or or not uh, conservative, but it's more common sense. Anyone with a brain would would know we cannot be equal, for us to be equal. We none of us can be better than the worst of us. And is that uh, what we should shoot for? None of us being as any better than the worst of us? Well, yeah, yeah lowering the bar. Well, for know. instance, if uh, Joe Schmo can't read, then you shouldn't be able to either. Because if you yeah. can read, you'll be you'll be 
more equal than he will. So we would we would all be better off if we were all illiterate. Uh, I, I I guess I guess what what got my attention, you know, you know, going back to Doctor Phil was this guy does not sound like a flaming liberal, you know. Well, everyone's got their uh, tipping point, or enough uh, to say enough is enough. I know he's gone after uh, the uh, asinine idea that you can change sexes. Uh, and, and also something that, yeah, yes, he did. But something else he was ranting on that got my attention was the, and we're going to have to, he's, he has his thoughts on, on COVID. And they are not in keeping with the left. Right. Okay. Uh, to include the damage done to students when they shut down the schools. Oh, right. he's, uh, he, he. Well, I think the. I think the leftists refer to those as unintended consequences. Yeah. Well, he he really unloaded on the psychological damage done to uh, especially well, well all the kids, elementary, junior, senior high. He he did not hold back on the uh, damage done to to all these students who went two three years quarantined in their house. Uh, doing school uh, uh, remotely uh, and and really not developing psychologically or socially. Well, these are you your know? developmental years. Yeah, your brain and, keeps your brain keeps developing into your uh, early and mid twenties. And uh, I, I like I said, I, I keep seeing these clips of Doctor Phil, and I'm thinking, man, he's sounding a little like. Us on the right, you know, and Us at uh, the MCR, perhaps. Yeah, really. But uh, of course, you know, he and he's made the comment. I'm not left. I'm not right. I'm just, you know, well, yeah, well, he tries to play the middle of the road, which yeah. all you do when you're in the middle is get run over. But but going back to and I've, we've said this quite a few times now already that if you're not all in with them, then you're all out. And right. uh, and I, I do believe I. I while I don't know the specifics, it appears him and Oprah are are on the outs. She's well, the one that. Let me ask you a question. What does the D stand for again in DEI? Uh, diversity. And that means different different thoughts, different opinions, different viewpoints. But on the left, there are none. There is theirs and only theirs. Yeah. And if you're not of that ilk, then you're then you're the enemy. Yeah, uh, yeah. Diversity, equity, inclusion. But, uh, yeah, uh, Oprah was the one that kind of got this guy popular. And, and at some point, him and Oprah uh, went, their, went their separate ways. Now, he did make the comment that about once a year he does, uh, I, don't know if, I don't know on what occasion, other than about once a year he will uh, send her a thank you for, because she, 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 boosted his career beyond belief oh yeah you know? she she reviewed a book it went right to number one and she and he was one of her favorites to bring on her show when whenever she was talking about you know something socially or psychologically right. whatever uh and like i said he does have a doctor's degree in clinical psychology so you know he he's he's got he's he's got the pedigree there we'll say I, I just wanted to throw it out there about Dr. Phil, uh, you know, some I, I guess in some regard, a, a, a guy worth keeping tabs on, you know, you know, see what see what he does next. I, I, I don't want to say he's going to be another Dr. Oz, but I'm wondering if he at some point might be, you know. Uh, anyways, that's all I got about Dr. Phil. Uh, just uh, he's just done a few things that that's made him a blip on the radar you know and, yep. and i'll just i'll just end with that uh, thanks everyone for your support we'll call this one a wrap and we'll catch you in the next one as always be safe watch your six and don't tread on me